Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is apply 5-axis toolpath to our part. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off all the layers except for our camera bracket layer. That looks good. And we're going to head over to the Command Manager, select Simultaneous Toolpaths, and then select 5-axis Swarf Cutting. Once we do that, 1CNC wants us to select the faces that we'd like to apply the toolpath to. So I'm just going to left-hand mouse click on all five of those faces and when I'm done I'm going to right hand mouse click. As soon as I do that we're presented with the first dialog box and this is where you're going to define a tool. Now you can define a tool manually like I did here or you can select from the tool library if you'd like. But in this example I've just manually created a three quarter inch diameter end mill. And I'm happy with my speeds and feeds. We'll click next on that. Here's our clearances. Now the clearance plane of 3 inches looks great so there's nothing here I really need to change. I'm going to leave that alone and just click next. I'm going to machine this with just a single cut and we're going to climb cut. I'll click next on that. Now the extend amount is simply just how far the end of the tool is going to be past the edge of the faces we selected. And I'm using a hundred thousands here. Let's click next on that. We're going to approach using an arc, so we're going to arc in and arc off using a 200 thousandths radius and 45 degrees. We'll click finished on that and let 1CNC generate the toolpath. Very good. Now let's take a look at previewing our toolpath. I'm going to turn our other layers back on. That looks good. Let's zoom out just a little bit. And I'm going to right hand mouse click on the toolpath group and select preview toolpaths. And here we go. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Here's our tool approaching the part. And here's our axis simulation. I'm going to rotate this around a little bit. And in fact, I'm going to make the holder translucent so we can see through it a little bit better. Very good. I'm going to zoom in. And you can see that the tool is swarf cutting those five surfaces that we selected earlier. Very, very easy to do. Now the lower left hand corner we can speed up the toolpath preview and we can slow it down just by moving the slider uh, from the left to the right. Okay, so let's do that one more time. I'm going to click restart and there we go. There's our 5-axis swarf cutting. Alright, that's it for this video. We demonstrated a quick 5-axis swarf cut on our camera bracket. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.